Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now have roll call taken by staff liaison Francine Spriegel. Please say here present when I call your name. Chair Nash. Here. Vice Chair Laufenberg. Here. Thank you. Commissioner Albert. Here. Commissioner Emanuel. Here. Commissioner Glavke. Here. Commissioner Goodnight. Present. Commissioner Matus. Here. Commissioner McKeown. Here. Commissioner McCary. Here. Commissioner Slosher. Here. Commissioner Shea. Present. Commissioner Toby is absent. Commissioner Shu. Here. Adult Commissioner Petrus. I'm present. And Adult Commissioner Martinez. Present. Thank you. At this time, I would like to ask Commissioner Matus to introduce item number four of our meeting, the public comments. This is the time in our meeting when we invite members of the public to state their concerns about youth-related issues in our city or to present items uh, for commission consideration. Will Michael Hernandez please come up? First of all, I want to thank you for the job you've done on the Thousand Oaks Youth Commission. You are the leaders of our city. I'm going to ask you three questions. Imagine you are George Washington and have just been named president of a new country. How would you lead? If I asked you to define leadership, could you do so? Can you name the leadership traits you have now? I am Mike Hernandez, President and CEO of History Makers, a Thousand Oaks community nonprofit that is sponsoring a Youth Leadership Academy for middle school and high school students in June. And I want you to attend. Do you know that your mayor, Rob McCoy, is a sage when it comes to the American legacy, our nation's founding? These are two booklets that have 18 lectures that Mayor Robb gave last year on the American legacy. You will receive a copy of these two booklets that share his lectures, the lectures given by the mayor, if you sign up for the Thousand Oaks Youth Leadership Academy. You will also receive, and I'm sure that you've covered this in your history classes, particularly American history, but a copy of the U.S. Constitution, the Declaration, and other founding documents that have been important to America's democracy. Now, if you can, I would like you to look at your blue youth leadership flyer, and I'll just go quickly over it to highlight some key points of the Leadership Academy. It's four Thursday nights starting at 6 p.m. with the barbecue dinner. The topics include Introduction to Leadership, Freedom, True Liberty, Morality and Character, The Birth of a Nation, and Leadership Past, Present, and Future. We're going to be asking you to attend, if you haven't already, a Thousand Oaks City Council meeting, or in June, or a Conejo Valley Unified School District meeting, and we'll give you guidelines on what we're looking for in your attendance. Those meetings go on long. We're not going to have you stay there long, probably about an hour, but we'll give you some very specific things we're looking for by attending those public meetings. You'll have a tour of Thousand Oaks City Hall led by Mayor Rob McCoy. You have or will be asked to, to do a four-hour community service project in June, and you'll have an opportunity to be a History Makers Leadership Essay winner and win cash awards. Finally, for the graduates, Every graduate will receive a certificate of re recognition signed by Mayor Rob McCoy at graduation. This program was originally written by History Makers. You can't get it anywhere else. Cost of the program is $50. We're asking you to register today, and I look forward to seeing you at the Thousand Oaks Youth Leadership Academy. Thank you for allowing me to share about it.
Thank you so much. Is there any other members of the public that would comment at this time? There being none, let's move on. Thank you. Item number five is project reports. Um, we're going to start with item 5A, which is youth implementation. First, we have um, Commissioner um, Emmanuel about the recreation or the environmental committee. This past Saturday was the Thousand Oaks Arbor Day Festival. The Environmental Implementation Committee of the Youth Commission organized a booth with the help of student volunteers. We used recycled bottle caps to create a TO Strong mosaic to raise awareness about the wastefulness of single-use plastics. With the help of the volunteers as well as the attendees, the mosaic was completed and looks beautiful. Thank you to all those who came out to help, whether you volunteered or contributed to the making of the mosaic. We hope to see you again next year. Thank you. Thank you. Next we have um, Commissioner McEwen about the Recreation Committee. Hi. Um, next Friday on May 10th, we are holding an Art Trek event. The admission is $5 at the door. The theme is Cinco de Mayo. There will be a burrito bar, art activities, and karaoke, and we hope to see you guys all there. Thank you so much. Um, next we have 5B, Youth Recognition Awards with Commissioner Slosher. Hi everyone, I'm Commissioner Slosher, Chair of the Youth Recognition Awards this year. Um, our awards are coming up very soon, May 23rd, and um, we recently had our interviews this year and they were on April 9th and 10th. And currently the script of the event is in the works and we will be awarding uh, Youth of the Year, Achievement Awards, and Appreciation Awards for both middle school and high school uh, volunteers and uh, people who are, um, who are nominated. And um, I'm really looking forward to the event. It's really fun and inspiring, and I hope to see you all there. Thank you, Ivy. Next, we have item 5C, City Internship with Commissioner Shea. Hi, everyone. I'm Commissioner Shea, and I'm co-chairing this program with Commissioner Globke. The City Internship is a summer internship program for rising seniors. Students apply for internships with businesses, nonprofits, and agencies in the greater Thousand Oaks area. In addition to their internship, they attend courses at California Lutheran University, which will teach them about relevant career and life skills needed to succeed in their given workplace and beyond. We still have a few internships available that are now open to juniors and sophomores. Please email youthcommission at toaks.org or call 805-381-7362 for more information. Please visit toaks.org forward slash city to apply. Thank you. Um, next, we have item number six. For this item, I'm going to turn it over to Vice Chair Loffenberg. Item six is school and liaison reports. In addition to being an advisory body to city council, the Youth Commission also appoints commissioners to act as liaisons to various youth organizations. Can Commissioners Goodnight and Alpert please introduce item 6A, the Teen Center Advisory Council portion of the meeting? Our spring middle school leagues will be wrapping up this month. We we have 24 teams competing with games played after school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Earlier today, we hosted a sixth grade volleyball and BBQ day. As we speak, we are having a girls friendly soccer tournament and BBQ. We hosted a middle school ping pong and billiard billiards tournament, which had 10 very skilled participants earlier this month. We took 45 kids to Magic Mountain over spring break. And finally, this past Saturday, we had our seventh and eighth grade spring blacklight dance. Summer is fast approaching and we're gearing up for a busy one. We offer over a hundred programs throughout summer for teens to get involved with. Make sure to check out our website thousandoaksteenscenter.com for the full lineup. As a reminder, we're open seven days a week so just come and hang out. It's totally free. Get all the details on our website for the events I talked about and all of our upcoming events at thousandoaksteenscenter.com and follow us on our Instagram at thousandoaksteenscenter. But before we go, we have one surprise announcement. Um, I am so excited to announce that the Youth Advisory Board for, of Pacers National Bullying Prevention has chosen Pete Martinez to receive the 2019 Faces of Change Award for his work in the Caneo Valley. His nomination inspired so much enthusiasm from the teens on the board. The description of his work with teens, his kindness, and his unique magic for outreach really resonated with everyone. The award is part of the yearly Unity Awards and honors people who are working towards changing the perception of bullying in our society in the Los Angeles area and other parts of the Southern California. 
all awards will be presented in Minneapolis on May 22nd at Pacers headquarters. So congratulations. Thank you, commissioners, and congratulations to our adult commissioner, Pete Martinez. Um, next, we're going to go on to item 6B, which is the Thousand Oaks Library Teen Advisory League, or total portion of this meeting. Will Charvi please come to the podium? Um, hi, my name is Charvi Goyle, and I represent the Thousand Oaks Teen Advisory League, also known as TOTAL. The library is a place where you can find information to help you succeed. Yesterday, we had an AP exam study hall where there were resources available for those looking to study for the AP exam. There are two databases, BrainFuse and Learning Express Library, where you can access AP exam study resources. The library also has fun programs for teens. Tomorrow, Thursday, May 2nd, you can try virtual reality at the library. As books take you into the new world, virtual reality will take you into another world at the library. Next week, Tuesday, May 7th, we will have a folded flowers for mom, mom or prom program. You can learn different techniques for creating paper flowers. Create flowers for you, your mom for Mother's Day, or for prom if you wish. Video game Wednesdays on May 15th, where you can play Super Smash Brothers and try the Oculus Virtual Reality System. Do you like sushi or clay? Come visit us on Tuesday, May 21st, where Art Truck will be teaching a class on making clay model sushi at the library. Visit the library as well to see the blackout poetry and art displays. This year, we had over 400 entries for blackout poetry and art. Come see the top 50 that were highlighted at the library. Amazing entries by local teens. Most importantly, is everybody ready for summer? The Thousand, Oaks the Thousand Oaks Library is looking for teen volunteers 14 and older. We have a fun summer program at the library and need teens to help from June 10th to August 10th. If you would like information about volunteering at the library, please go to our website, www.tolibrary.org. Go to the Teen tab, where the information about teen events and programs is available, and sign up to volunteer at the library. Please volunteer and bring all your friends. Good luck to all teens studying. Remember, you can always use our virtual library 24 hours a day. With databases like, as I mentioned earlier, BrainFuse and Learning Express Library can help you succeed. Use it to study for the AP exams, improve your writing, help you with math, or other topics in school. Thank you for your time, and we hope to see you soon at the library. Thank you, Charvi. We are now going to have Commissioner Emanuel introduce item 6C, the ASB ASG portion of our meeting. This is a portion of our meeting when we invite student representatives from our local middle and high schools to speak about events at their schools. Now we will hear from Cooper and Avery from Sycamore Canyon Middle School. Hi, I'm Avery Tokuyama from Sycamore Canyon ASB. I'm Cooper Butt from Sycamore Canyon ASB. So we recently opened a student store on campus where students can purchase paper, pencils, fun school supplies, and other items. This is open on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. We are also currently doing rack days throughout this month, which are random acts of kindness days, where we give students surprises like balloons or candy. We also have Teacher Appreciation Week, May 6th through the 10th. We plan on doing special things for the staff throughout the week, such as handwritten thank you notes and gifts. We have a dance on May 10th. This is the final dance of the year and will be summer themed. We are also inviting fifth graders to come to get them excited for middle school. Election week for next year's officers is the week of the 20th and we'll vote on that Friday. Finally, we have our Renaissance barbecue on May 24th. Students who made Renaissance will be treated to a barbecue lunch. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Next, we will hear from Mia Slosher from Kalina Middle School. Hello, my name is Mia Slosher, and I'm a seventh grader from Kalina Middle School. These last few months of school are not that busy, but ASB is trying to focus on spirit and Cody days, such as tie-dye day, Mitch match day, nerd day, or summer wear day. ASB also decided to switch the eighth grade promotion dance to a brunch at Dave & Buster's. We took a vote on that idea, and more than 75% 70 of the eighth grade would rather go to Dave & Buster's. In addition, we will be having one of our last big LTAs on in May, which will be a water balloon activity that ASB is still trying to finalize. On May 16th, the tobacco bus is coming to inform students, so ASB will be working that and presenting information. 
Lastly, ASB Yearbook just finished the yearbook on Monday, and they are sending the final copies to print. This is all I have for tonight, but have a good night, and thank you for having me as a re representative for this year. Thank you. Next, we hear from Ava Basile from Los Cerritos Middle School. Hi, I'm Ava Basile, and I'm the ASB president at Los Cerritos Middle School. So last Friday was Shadow Day and also Twin Day. This Friday, we have an LTA, and seven of our eighth grade students from Los Cerritos competed in the California State Science Fair on April 29th and April 30th, so that was really exciting. Um, also, this, this Friday is our school carnival, which is from 3.30 to 5 o'clock after school. The eighth grade promotion dance will take place on Friday, May 31st from 7 o'clock to 9.30 p.m. Awards night is on Tuesday, May 14th, and our end of the year reward trip for all grades to Vassa Park is on Wednesday, May 15th. Also, the 7th grade Raging Waters Rewards trip is on the 17th, and our trimester 3 rally is scheduled on the 24th. And finally, the 8th grade Magic Mountain trip is on June 5th. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now we will hear from Audrey Arce from St. Pascal Valon School. Good evening, my name is Audrey Arce. I attend St. Pascal Bailon School and I am currently in eighth grade. The school business for May is as follows. April 26th through May 6th is Screen Free Week. May 4th, First Holy Communion. May 6th, sen um, Senator Dessert and Reception. May 6th through the 10th, um, Senator Campaigns and Elections. May 7th, May Crowning. May 10th, Spring Sports Pep Rally. May 13th, Workshop for New Officers. May 17th, Midsummer Night's Dream Play. May 17th, Student Council Mass. And also on May 17th, Installation for New Officers. May 18th through the 24th, a Library Book Fair. May 23rd, a Patriotic Spirit Day. May 23rd, Open House and Art Show. May 24th, Jogathon. May 27th, Memorial Day and the school. Um, a tribute to the class of 2019 is on May 30th and May 1st, a sports pep um, banquet. Thank you. Thank you. Now we will hear from Eddie Nash from Westlake High School. Hi everybody, my name is Eddie Nash and I'm a sophomore at Westlake High School. So uh, to begin, I just want to congratulate all the seniors here and on making it to Commitment Day. Best of luck to all of you and all of your endeavors. And then next of all, our students will be having a very busy month. Next week, our advanced placement exams are beginning and students are start starting to cram and try to remember everything they learned in the past year. On April 7th, our ASG class started a team walk, a team walking at Relay for Life, which is a fundraising event for the American Cancer Association. The ASG class tried to raise money for finding a cure. My goal next year is to double the enrollment and the participation. Thank you to everybody who participated. Tomorrow is the Westlake Blood Drive, so please be sure to show up for your allotted time slot and remember to make up all the work that you miss. Westlake Seniors, in order to have your name put on the wall at the finale rally, you must have submitted your Next Steps survey on the Naviance. Thank you all and have a good night. Next, we will hear from Benny from Newberry Park High School. Hi everyone, I'm Benny Greider and I'm a sophomore and I'm the representative from Newberry Park High School. Our boys volleyball team just finished their season in first place for Monty League and even made it to the first round of CIF playoffs. Our boys lacrosse team also did very well and made it to the first round of playoffs. 
Our girls lacrosse team is moving on to the second round of playoffs later this week, as well as our tennis team. Also, our prom was this, pa- this past Saturday at the Simi Valley Vineyards, where every- everyone had an amazing time and danced the night away. This morning, ASG put on their annual teacher takeover, where they gave up a late start day to appreciate the teachers and staff with breakfast and games. Coming up this month it is theaters Charlie and the Chocolate Factory play on the 10th, the 11th, the 16th, the 17th, and the 18th in the pack. The all-district band concert is the 20th. Our choir concert is on the 23rd and 24th, and the strings concert is on the 31st. Our choir also traveled to Seattle over spring break, where both advanced women's and men's choir got first in their divisions. On May 18th, Special Olympics will be held in the morning at our stadium. Also, on May 24th, uh, ASG is putting on the annual boat, boat races at our pool. This month will also be filled with a lot of testing for finals, the AP test, and the IB test. Thank you. Thank you to all the representatives. Um, thank you to all our speakers. We um, have some certificates of appreciation for you for um, coming all year long um, and speaking at our meetings. Um, we truly um, love having you at our meetings and we're so grateful that you come uh, month after month. So if the commission would stand in front and then when I call your name, you're gonna come around. First up, we have Benny Greider. Next, we have Cooper Buck. Avery Tokiyama. Audrey Arce. Sorry. <laughs> Mia Slosher. <laughs> Ava Basile. and Eddie Nash. Thank you. Um, I am now for item number seven is the senior fa- farewell. I'm going to turn the meeting over to Commissioner Globke. Okay, so I think is everybody knows by now this is our last meeting of the year, uh, and we have two wonderful seniors who we'd uh, like to say goodbye to at this meeting. Uh, so I think most of us have something to say uh, about at least one of them. Um, <laughs> so uh, so we'll start with uh, Sarah. Does anyone have anything they'd like to say? Uh, Commissioner Shea. 
Okay, so from the first day I met you at the city graduation in 2016, I knew that we were going to be friends. You were so outgoing, and I admired how well you could communicate with others. Even though we met through the commission, our friendship goes way beyond that now. You're one of the kindest, most genuine, amazing people I've ever met, and your sarcastic sense of humor always makes my day. Getting videos of you applying makeup in the middle of the night is something I look forward to every day. Uh, I always hang out with you, and it's always a good time. You've had such a great impact on my life, and I can't imagine what it's going to be like next year without you. Even though you accidentally broke my phone on a Frappuccino bottle <laughs> at the NLC City Summit in our hotel room, I still consider you one of my best friends. <laughs> From meetings to swimming to late night calls with tea to ghost hunting in our hotel room, <laughs> I have some of the best memories with you, and I couldn't ask for a better friend on and off the commission. I know you're going to do incredible things at Stanford and beyond. I hope you don't forget about us in the commission. Whatever path you take, I know it'll be a challenging one because that's who you are. But of all people, you're up for the challenge. You've taught me so much during our time on the commission, and there's still so much I could learn from you. Since freshman year, you've been someone I've looked up to and admired, and that isn't changing anytime soon. You're one of the most caring, dedicated, hardworking people I know, and it really shows. Whatever you put your energy towards turns out amazing. You are so deserving of all the good in your, in your life, and all I can hope is that in the next segment of your life at Stanford, it's the best that it can be. I'm going to miss you so much next year, but you're on to bigger and better things, and we're all so proud of you. We're going to miss you, Vice Chair Laufenberg. Thank you for everything. Okay, so who would like to try and top that? <laughs> Uh, Commissioner Schlossler. Schlo Schlo Schlossler. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I, I'm sorry that I'm already crying, but <laughs> I'll try and make it through this. Okay. <clears throat> Sarah, I don't even know where to begin. Ever since I began my time on the commission, you have been the greatest friend to me. I remember one of the first meetings when I only knew a couple of people. You approached me with the sweetest attitude and the most open arms. You have embraced me as a friend and made me laugh countless times. You are the most welcoming and kind-hearted person I know. You are such a true friend. You are also so humble. The day you got into Stanford, which is honestly the most amazing thing I have heard all year, you did not even tell most of the commissioners, but instead I had to ask you why, why you were going to leave, and you whispered to me, I just got into Stanford and I'm going to celebrate. Of course I was amazed. Yeah, I never doubted you. Sarah, I see so much of me and you, and we often agree on topics such as youth of the year. <laughs> Thank you for being the greatest friend. Have the best time at the best school next year. You are the best. I'll miss you greatly. Anybody else for Sarah? Commissioner Shu. Sarah, thank you for always being there for me through everything on the Youth Commission and outside of the Youth Commission. I remember the first time I came to my first Youth Commission meeting, I was super nervous and I didn't really know what to do, and you were there for me, and you were super sweet, and you made me less nervous, and that was really kind, and I will never forget that. I also remember through the therapeutic dance, we had a really great time. We took pictures, and it was super fun, and I got to know you so much better, and it's been a great year on the Youth Commission together with you, and I had such a great time, and I know you are going to do amazing things at Stanford, I'm really proud of you, and I remember I was so happy when I found out. I started jumping up and down, and I'm just so excited for your future, and I can't wait to visit you in college. <laughs> Commissioner Matus. Okay, this is for uh, both of you guys, Chloe and Sarah. And just so you know, I'm not going to be quite as elo eloquent as everyone that went before <laughs> me. But I just wanted to say that both of you guys, I've loved getting to know both of you through the commission. And it's been such a ride. And putting on all the events together, like whether it's a therapeutic dance, youth recognition awards, it's just been awesome and a great experience for me. And I hope you guys are successful wherever you go and whatever you do in life. And you guys have just been awesome role models for me. Thank you guys so much. Commissioner McKeown. Okay, this one's for both of you guys, too. These past two years, getting to know both of you have been so amazing. I'm going to cry. <laughs> you guys both inspire me to be a better version of myself every time I see you guys with your positivity and big smiles, no matter what we're doing. 
I'm so grateful I got to experience the National League of Cities conference with both of you and make so many fun memories that I won't forget. I was also really happy to have my roomie, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you guys the, both the best in college, and I know you guys will go so far in your life. Commissioner Emanuel. Sarah, you were my first friend on the Youth Commission, and you made me feel so welcome as just a new middle schooler. You are one of the nicest, most genuine, and dedicated people I have ever met. I have loved serving on the Youth Commission with you, and you have made every meeting more fun. I am going to miss you so much next year. Commissioner McCarry. Okay, so I might start crying, so I'm going to keep this brief. <laughs> but, um, Sarah, you are an incredible person. I am so grateful to have met you this year, and I don't think I would have met you if it wasn't for the Youth Commission, and you guided me through my first year. Like, you helped me when I was confused. You helped me any time that I needed help, and I am so grateful. I know you are going to do great things at Stanford, and Stanford is lucky to have you. Class of 2023. <laughs> Love you, Sarah. Uh, anybody else? Okay, so I'll go. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, last year I signed up to uh <laughs> to be uh, a mentoree on the uh, city internship fair. And I didn't really know anyone, and Sarah's my mentor, and I like didn't know what to make of her, right? So, <laughs> so, uh, but she completely guided me through the whole process, and she's made this year a lot easier for me. And I don't think I've ever met anyone that's truly helped me in really all aspects of my life more than uh, Sarah has. Even now, she's offering to proofread my AP research paper for me when it's due tomorrow. She's just, she's always willing in to, she's always willing to help other people at the last second or just do anything to make anybody else's life better. Uh, and I really appreciate that you've been there for me uh, for these past two years, so I thank you. Adult Commissioner Martinez. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have Sarah talk about Sarah first yes I am sorry I've I've known I know if much any of you knew this but I knew Sarah way before I any of you knew her she was a little girl she, I, I part of the Park District family I saw her as this little shiny light and it's and now she's blossomed to this huge glow wherever she goes she fills up her room and that's amazing. It's an amazing gift you have, Sarah. Uh, I admire you. I, you have many gifts. Of course, uh, I look up to you, believe it or not. Um, you are a real person with a real, a real heart. And you will go on to Stanford and uh, touch many lives. But just know one thing, wherever you may be, wherever you go, you've left an impression that will last forever and it'll ripple out to the community. You have done that, and I'm proud of you. And um, I can't wait to see your glow when you come back and visit again sometime. But it'll always be here in my heart, what you've shared with me all these years. So thank you very much, Sarah. Appreciate it. Well done. <clears throat> now for Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> Chloe, you are a wonderful, sincere, fantastic leader. Uh, you're the essence of the word leader in my mind. You really are. Your heart and your kindness and your compassion are obvious and you show it every day. Um, your guidance and your patience and your knowledge and your professionalism and you are just being a really good human being. That's, that's what it's all about. You get it, you get it, Chloe. And I'm, I am, again, I'm inspired by you, and I'm so fortunate and lucky to have experience with you of the Youth Commission all these years. Um, I watch you grow and develop, and you're going to continue that, your path to wherever it may be. Um, I know it's going to be successful, whatever that word is to, for you, but uh, the sky's the limit. You, the world is at your feet, and you just are going to be, you're going to have a, such a wonderful impact as you had in this community. 
Um, and so thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Well done, our leader. Adult Commissioner Petrus. Thank you. Um, as I say almost every year, this is a sad time for adult commissioners because we get to watch you leave the Youth Commission where we have consistently seen you for the last you know, several years, and now we watch you begin anew at the universities. Chloe Nash, Sarah Laufenberg, you are both amazing. Amazing, amazing. There are a lot of adjectives that can describe you both, including you're reliable, you're consistent, you're trustworthy, you're creative, and you're caring. And then you've heard all the other adjectives that I left out. I have observed many of your strengths, and one of the strengths that you both brought to the Youth Commission is the fact that other fellow commissioners and kids were made to feel important, not unimportant, important. And they were made to feel wanted, not unwanted, but they were made to feel wanted by you both. And I thought this made for very effective leadership and everything that you did throughout the years. So as you begin your new educational adventures, you both have the strength and the hope you need to meet each, of each new tomorrow. So please remember that, your strength and your hope. And you can look back on your Youth Commission days of leadership that hold, we hope, fond memories. And I'm hoping you both know how much you are really cared about by all of these people in this room and many other people that you've impacted throughout the year uh, in this whole community. So the best wishes for you both at, on your new adventures. Thank you. Commissioner Shea. So I just want to say about Chloe, um, when I first came on the commission, Sarah and I were both new, but Chloe was not, and she knew exactly what she was doing, and she knew exactly how to help us and how to make us feel really welcome, and I still remember that, and I really appreciate that, and she's given me so many rides, like more than I can count, uh, <laughs> and even though my parents give me rides too, I love you guys, uh, Chloe's given me so many rides, and I really appreciate that, even though it's a really small thing, it's still going out of the way. And it's really nice. And you've always been really on top of it. And you're really, really smart. And you always know exactly how to help us and how to manage us. Because as a commissioner, we're pretty crazy sometimes. So thank you so much. And I'm really going to miss you a lot. Commissioner Emanuel. Uh, the first time I met Chloe was not on the Youth Commission. It was actually uh, volunteering at the Stagecoach Inn Museum when I was in fourth grade. <laughs> um, and you've come so far from <laughs> those years. So when I found out that you were serving on the Youth Commission too, I was so happy that I was going to get the chance to work with you again. And this year I got to work on environmental committee, on the environmental committee with you. And I was just so impressed and like in awe of your passion for everything that you do. And I know you're gonna do amazing at college and I'm gonna miss you so much next year. Commissioner McCary. Okay, Chloe, so <laughs> I feel like I've known you for forever, but I think I've only known you for like two years, <laughs> but you're sort of like my crazy older sister that I would trust with everything. And you help me whenever I need you to. And you sort of also help guide me through my first year. And when I told you I was thinking about joining the Youth Commission, you got so excited. And I remember you were like encouraging me and it made me feel wanted and welcome. And that just, you made me feel amazing. So thank you so much for that. Please visit a lot from Utah. You're going to have, I know it's not as close, <laughs> but at least it's not the East Coast. So <laughs> please visit. I love you, Chloe. Commissioner Schlossler. Gosh, I can't say it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I can't make it through, but <laughs> Chloe. I have thought about this day for so long.
although you are not um, leaving me today, it is in a way symbolically representative of you being gone next year. I have known your family for longer than I can remember, but I did not become friends with you personally until about two to three years ago. I remember coming to my first meeting, sitting over there, looking at all the super old high schoolers on the commission. I have always known who you were and always looked up to you. When I entered ASG at Westlake, you were one of the first to be kind and befriend me. Honestly, when I look back, my youth commission and high school experience thus far would have been subpar without you and your crazy, funny, loving, and energetic attitude. <laughs> I love how you care, how you are so carefree, you always go above and beyond. <laughs> I love how you have made this commission your priority, knowing everything about every event. I also love how you never fail to make me laugh or be a friend for me to confide in. Chloe, you have impressed me in so many ways, how you always have a smile on your face, even when I know you are stressed or tired, and how you truly care about serving your community. I look up to you in so many ways. You inspire me with your dedication. All the hours you have given back, whether it be through youth commission or your church, you are truly selfless. You have gone to Francine's office or to do youth commission work straight from school more times than I can count. You have helped me with everything and taught me so much. Chloe, you are so amazing and honestly my mentor. I look up to you every day. I don't know what I'll do without you next year. Thank you for being your true self and I'll miss you endlessly. Words can't honestly not describe the way you have impacted me. I love you dearly. Okay, so I'll go now. Um, <laughs> so I know uh, most of you probably don't know this, but um, currently in my driveway, there is a two foot long <laughs> black mark from Chloe not completing a U-turn and crashing into the curb, popping her tire completely. And I, I think that kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that kind of shows like what kind of person Chloe is. Um, <laughs> she, <laughs> she's willing to put her car on the line for her friends, and um, and I, <laughs> I don't know. I think I've probably um, I've probably laughed and been more scared with you than anybody else on the commission <laughs> over the past two years, um, and there are definitely moments of our time together that I'll never forget. So thank you for that. <laughs> okay, so it is my understanding that the seniors now have stuff to say about each other. Uh, so I will start with Commission or er, Vice Chair Laufenberg. You know, I was really hoping I'd be able to go second, but you know, I still <laughs> respect you, so it's okay. Um, so I really thought that this wasn't gonna get me, but obviously we were proven wrong. So um, I made like a little outline and uh, I tried not to get too sentimental in it because I really like had a goal that I was not gonna crack. Um, we're already past that though, so <laughs> I guess we'll just follow along and see what comes out. <laughs> Um, I first want to speak on the Youth Commission as a whole, especially for anyone out there who's um, thinking about doing it. Um, it's been such a tremendous impact in my life in more ways than I can name, especially, um, see, here I go, um, <laughs> all the people on it. Um, actually, it's just one example. The first event that I ever went to before even being like sworn in, I guess, as a commissioner at our first meeting was the city graduation ceremony. And um, and that was the kind of thing that I knew that I wanted to do when I was on here. I wanted to be in the action and be as involved as possible. And um, I obviously met some friends through that. Um, I know if um, anyone's ever talked to any of the participants of our events or programs or if you've been a participant um, like myself, for example, in the internship program, you know how meaningful these things actually are um, to everyone in the community and to the commissioners um, ourselves. I've definitely um, learned a lot from it in more ways than one, um, both personally and professionally. And now that I know um, that that's what I want to do in college and beyond is study government and policy. So um, I definitely think that the Youth Commission has been such a great learning experience um, and I've gotten so much out of it. Um, I also want to thank all of my fellow commissioners. Um, we've definitely had some interesting moments, all of us together, uh, from hearing stuff at the meetings like shredding the gnar, um, 
to meeting the one and only Karen Freeman Wilson. Uh, we've definitely had some great times and I've had the opportunity to make many uh, memories with each of you, including, um, for example, being <laughs> listening to someone's interview <laughs> for something at um, an art workshop, just many interesting memories that I've had um, at therapeutic dances, implementation meetings, um, youth recognition interviews, and obviously uh, National League of Cities was definitely an interesting one. Um, some of you I've obviously known longer or better than others, but um, I think all of you bring something really unique to the table here. and. Uh, you guys <laughs> have impacted me a lot. Um, each of you are amazing, and I just want you to know, again, I think it's a running theme that we all want you to know how valuable you are to not only us, but the commission and the community at large. And um, I know that you guys are going to do amazing things in the future, but I hope that you know that you already are doing those amazing things now, um, not only on the commission, but in your schools and beyond. Um, I wanna thank Chloe for being an amazing chair. Uh, We've been, I mean, because we are the only people in the same grade level here. Uh, <laughs> so that's been a pretty interesting dynamic. Um, but one thing that I've always really appreciated about you beyond, you know, just us, like getting along so well and I think leading together um, was you pushing me to better myself and be a better leader. So I want to thank you for that. And also just being um, such an amazing person. I'm not going to get any more into that because I'm not going to trick myself there. <laughs> um, and then uh, to our newer commissioners and anyone um, beyond that, I encourage you to reach out to me or I'm guessing Chloe um, next year whenever you need us. Um, and to the commissioners who are going to be seniors next year, uh, I wish you luck. <laughs> um, is Karina in the room? Is Karina here now? Oh, she left. Okay, well, tell her I said thanks and I guess I'll talk to her later. Um, and then um, lastly, uh, I'm just grouping you together and I'll talk to you later more, but um, uh, for your unseen, Leanne and Pete, um, I know that you guys obviously have seen a lot of young people um, come past your doors, but I just want you to know um, how immense the impact is that you have on um, each and every one of us. Um, obviously, I guess, um, I know you guys have a lot of levels of recognition of that too, um, but your passion for our community is unparalleled and um, so is the impact that you make on each and every one of us in our own journeys and um, finding our own success. Um, and I wanna just thank you all for supporting me and helping me learn and grow as a person, um, both on the Youth Commission again and as a person in general. Um, I know and have known that you, I can always count on you uh, when I need you. So again, uh, I just wanna thank the whole Youth Commission um, and again, actually um, all of our student representatives who come to each and every one of our meetings uh, for this wonderful experience. And finally, Chair Nash. Okay. Um, so, First of all, I want to say that this meeting, the senior farewell meeting um, in seventh grade, I was watching this on the TV because I found out I got in commission. I was like, oh, I wonder what they do. So we watched this meeting and I probably watched this meeting three times with the seniors who I didn't even know at all um, gave their little speeches. And I never really thought that would be me. But here we are. So um um, first to the commission as a whole. Thank you for trusting me. Um, thank you for trusting me to be your um, leader. Thank you for supporting me as your leader. You are all the very best of people and I'm so happy I got to work with all of you this year um, and I had that pleasure um, and to past commissioners as well. Um, I'm so happy that I got to work with you and um, thank you all for inspiring me um, to be here um, and continue and taught me the love of Youth Commission. Um, my high school experience truly would not be the same without Youth Commission. Um, and I'm so happy that I found something that I love um, to do and I love to be involved in so early um, in my life. And I know I wanna do something um, with government and local policy later in my life. And um, this was just such a great um, opportunity for me to start that um, in high school. So first to Sarah. Um, 
thank you for being you. You are such a light, as Pete said, um, and I'm so incredibly grateful for all the work you've done um, for the commission this year. I appreciate your friendship every day, and I'm so um, grateful that you were my vice chair, um, and it wouldn't have been the same if it was anyone else. I'll miss you so much, and I am beyond proud of you, as um, everyone knows at this point, Stanford 2023. Um, and I can't wait to see what you do um, in life. And I can't wait to continue our friendship. Um, yeah. Um, to Ivy. Um, thank you for being my friend and my biggest supporter. I'm so incredibly proud of all the work you've done um, on Youth Commission. Um, last year, you, as a freshman, um, Ivy chaired pretty much the Youth Recognition Awards um, and I don't want to say surprised because I knew you had it in you, but you um, did an outstanding job um, taking on one of our biggest events as a freshman. I've never seen that before. And this year, you're making it even better. So I'm so, so proud of you. Um, that's super impressive. And I'm just so grateful that you did that and that you're my friend um, in ASG and in Youth Commission. Um, to Matthew, um, I was going to tell the same story, but since everyone already heard it, I crashed my car into his curb and then my tire popped. But um, thank you for bringing that up every opportunity <laughs> you can um, and making me laugh all the time. I'm so, so proud of you um, and I'm so excited to see what you do. Um, and also, um, Matthew has a passion for National League of Cities. Um, he just <laughs> loves the organization. Um, and I'm just so happy that he um, had such a great time there. And I just, yeah. Um, so to Shaylee, um, Shaylee and I um, are roomies at um, National League of Cities. Um, we had such a great time. Um, and we really had um, fun together this year um, in and outside of um, commission. And I'm proud of you as well. I'm proud of everyone. Um, to Leanne, um, thank you so much for your support of everything I do um, and the love you've given me in the past five years. I am thankful for every conversation we've had and all the time we've spent together. Um, I think what you do at the Conejo Youth Employment Services is so priceless and um, what you do to help kids there is amazing. And every time I've been in that office, I'm just so impressed um, by the work you do. And um, I'm so glad you are an adult commissioner on our commission because otherwise I don't know if I would have met you. So I'm so happy about that. Um, to Pete, you are always there to offer wisdom about everything, um, whether um, his legendary commissioner comments um, where he shares his wisdom with us um, and um, the work you do at the teen center. Um, I'm so happy you got that award. There's truly no one more deserving. Um, you're the best, Pete. And to Francine. Um, so in the last, um, five years, I joined the commission. I wasn't shy, but I didn't want to talk at meetings because, um, it's kind of scary, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so, um, but without Francine's support, I would have never ended up, um, here. She is nothing I do would be possible without Francine, um, and her encouragement and her, um, she really taught me so much about being a person and being on Youth Commission. And um, the passion I have for this commission would not be half as what it would be, half what it would be um, without her. And I'm so happy that you were um, my mentor um, throughout high school. And I truly would not be here if it weren't for you. And I'm so, so happy that I met you. And I'll always be um, grateful for what you've taught me. Um, so thank you. Um, so yeah, um, thank you guys. I love you all. I'm proud of you. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'd like to turn it back to Chair Nash. Thank you. Um, so this is the last portion of our meeting where commissioners can provide, no, just kidding. I'm all flustered now. Where is my, okay. We are on item number eight, commissioner comments led by, um, oh, me. Does anyone have any commissioner comments? Um, Commissioner Martinez. 
I just wanted to let our viewing public know uh, and to be aware that the application to serve on the Youth Commission is now open. If anyone's out there who's interested in applying to be on the Youth Commission, you can uh, fill out an application online at www.toaks.org forward slash boards. That's www.toaks.org forward slash boards. And the applications are open right now through May the 10th. If you need any help with your interviews, we will be glad to give you the information to contact a really special person. She's sitting right next to me. Her name's the Aunt Petrus. She's from the Canary Youth Employment Service. She's an expert in helping you with interviews. And you can reach her at Canary Youth Employment Service at the number 805-496-6868. Thank you and good luck to all. Leanne. Uh, thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> uh, as Pete said, that we will help anybody. We do it for free at the uh, Canal Youth Employment Service. Uh, you just need to call and make an appointment with us, and we'll help you with resume uh, as well. Uh, for, s for teens that are 17 and older, we have a really good assessment test. Um, it's a pretty expensive assess assessment test, but the company likes us and gives it to Canal Youth Employment so that we can uh, administer it for free. So those are available um, all through now as you're uh, getting ready for your city uh, internship app, um, um, interviews, as well as anything that you'll be doing, Boy Scouts or anything, th during the summer. Uh, the other thing I'd like to mention, um, as most of you well know, that I do a food pantry. I run a food pantry in the morning. Um, it, it's a closed pantry. Uh, the United Methodist Church on uh, uh, Jans Road gives us the space. Uh, we're very healthy. We give you 62 pounds of food per week. So if any family's uh, food insecure, you must have a teen or preteen in the family to qualify. But uh, we'll be able to uh, give you food so that uh, we give you about $500 worth of food per um per month, and so you can come every week to get food from us. So again, if you know anybody who's food insecure, um, please just have them call me at my office. Thank you. Anyone else? Shay. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for such a great year, for all of our representatives from ASB, ASG that come out every week, and to the commissioners, adult and teen, um, Thank you guys so much. You've made this such a great experience, and I can't wait to be a senior on the commission next year. Martinez. Yes. Um, I, for the rest of the Youth Commission, thank you so much for letting me be your advisor. It was a pleasure working side by side with each and every one of you. Each of you are talented in your own specific ways, and you have strengths that go beyond describe, description. Uh, so, again, I'm looking forward to next year, working with many of you. Uh, but thank you again. It was a joy, a pleasure. And uh, it was very special, very special. Um, so thank you, and have a wonderful summer. Anyone else? No, I have one. So the Be Prepared Safety Fair, um, sponsored by the City of Thousand Oaks and Assembly Member Jackie Irwin's office, is um, Saturday, May 18th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is a free, safety-oriented, family-friendly event. Um, to get more information on this event, um, go to ASMDC dot org forward slash dw forward slash safety fair um to get more information if you would you're interested in attending this event or just want more information um that being all um this is the um before i adjourn this meeting i have a few reminders um so art track we have our diaz de mayo event on may 10th from 7 to 10 p.m i encourage everyone to come out it's going to be really fun we're going to um, a taco bar and a pinata and confetti eggs and some really fun events. It's at Art Trek in Newbury Park, um, and it's gonna be really fun. So I hope to see everyone there. And then sec, whoa, and then <laughs> second, um, um, youth recognition awards are May twenty third here at the Civics Arts Plaza. So I'm very excited. That's my favorite event. So I can't wait to see everyone there. Um, 
if you would like any more information about the Youth Commission or have any questions about the agenda items discussed, please call 805-381-7362 or email youthcommission at toaks.org or like the Thousand Oaks Youth Commission on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and there being no further business to come before the Commission, the Youth Commission meeting is adjourned till our next regular meeting.